Hey guys, I'm IDT here with a little bit of a retrospective, ret, 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 uh, 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 retrospective on um, like Primal Clash, X and Y Primal Clash booster box and uh, maybe just giving you my thoughts on it and how it turned out. So I think I paid $150 for the box and maybe got $20 worth of value out of it. Um, now, I mean, you know, the thing about, you know, this is not really about investment. Man, that chair is loud, and I apologize for that. But, you know, it's not really investment when you're doing these things. It's about the collection. But, you know, we want the cards to be worth something. And, you know, just like this, you know, I got the Primal Kyogre. I got some Agrons, um, Full Art Agron, and, and the EX, and just the regular one, and... Um, that was big oof on my part, but you know, um, and then I think I got like, um, you know, the, the whale Lord, um, the Azra Memorial or whatever, nothing too exciting, but you know, unless you really like, uh, gen three, which I do, I like gen three a lot. Um, don't buy this, um, just stick to, uh, what has a Charizard in it, like everyone says, which is. Really not that exciting for someone who maybe doesn't like Charizard. Um, I mean, not that I don't like Charizard, but um, I don't like Charizard as much as everyone else. I just feel like he's uh, too played out, man. Um, you know, let's see, there's the uh, Zero Mill. We got the Reverse and the, and the uh, Hollow. Same with the Milotic. Um, same with the Nitto Queen. Believe it or not, yeah, but that goes back. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's really just my thoughts on it. Um, you know, the the value, and I think I knew that going into it. I looked at the values of the cards, and then, like, the Kyogre, I think, um, I think I said $14 in the video, but, um, you know, really, it's, it's closer to, uh, like, $7. Um, the Groudon, of course, is the most... Uh, Expensive card, the Primal uh, Groudon EX, um, and I think it was 14 So, I mean, you know, the only way you were going to be able to pay for the box is if you opened all Groudons in every single pack. I mean, not every single pack, but, well, you know, at least 10 of them at $14 piece. So, um, you know, that was kind of a tall order where, you know, with a lot of these other um, booster boxes, even some of the... Um, you know, newer ones, even the, you know, the darkness of blaze and, and, uh, you know, the sword and shield and even, you know, the sun and moon, um, there's a lot of cards that are worth 10, 15, 20, you know, up to $50 and, you know, yeah, you're maybe not going to hit them, but if you do, at least it paid for one third of the booster pack. Uh, I keep on saying booster pack, but the booster box, um, you know, and then if you're just buying packs, like, you get that one card and all of a sudden you've paid for all your packs you've bought. Um, you know, I mean, uh, look at, you know, watch my videos where I buy packs from Dollar Generals. I'm buying one $1 three packs and I'm getting uh, $10 cards out of them. Well, that's 10 packs I just paid for. So, I mean, on average, I've probably pulled, you know, I'm buying these $1 packs. I think I've bought... Um, pretty much 30 packs of the $1 packs and I've gotten close to, I would say 30 plus worth of uh, value in cards so that they've paid for themselves. Um, of course, I'm not going to sell the cards. So, I mean, I'm still out $30 for buying the packs, but I mean, you know, it feels good in your head if you can justify that. Uh, no one wants to buy packs and be like, this is dumb. This is stupid. Cause then why would you be buying them? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I know you know what's here to, to maybe convince themselves of why they need to collect cards. But I'm just saying, um, and that goes with any card game, anything you're doing, you want to have value, whether the value's in the collection or it's a perceived value because there is a number attached to it uh, outside of collecting it. Um, you know, I collect World of Warcraft cards. They have almost no value um, besides the loot cards, but like the perceived value is I want to collect them all. Um, I don't want to collect every single Pokemon card because there's too many, but... Um, you know, there is an attached value, and I want to collect cards 
that have an attached value because that's my perceived value. Um, that probably didn't make any sense, um, but that's what I'm going with. Um, so, guys, yeah, just stick to booster um, boxes with Charizards in them. That's the way you're going to get your money. Or just stick to booster boxes that you need to get your collection with. Um, you know, I wouldn't say I'd be against buying another booster box of uh, X and Y Primal Clash because I really want the crowd on. Um, but I almost don't want to waste the money on, um, you know, the biggest pull I'm going to get is, uh, you know, $7, $14. That's, that's no fun. I mean, you know, I pulled, uh, this little gem, this secret Pikachu full art, uh, with red and, you know, it's, I think now it, it's like a $17 card and that, that's an awesome pull. That's beautiful artwork. It's worth something like I like the card. Um, you know, I don't really care about this Rosa, but even then it's like, that's like a $5 card. That's this trainer card from Cosmic Eclipse, if I remember correctly, is worth the same amount as this, uh, super rare Primal Kyogre EX Legendary Pokemon. So, I mean, I know, I, I'm not trying to complain, like, people like the Pokemon they like, I'm just saying that, like, that's the reason why you should not buy this Primal Clash. So... Uh, I'm going to end it there. If you please like, subscribe, and comment, that'd be great. And I'm going to have I'm gonna have some more booster boxes for you guys in the future. Um, this was just the first one. Um, hopefully, um, you know, by the time you guys watch this, I'll be into some Champion's Path. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.